While shoppers were chasing dropping prices this morning, on Wall Street it was the Dow dropping and quickly. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged more than 200 points when the market first opened before recovering somewhat in this half day of trading, ending the day down 154 points. And all of it because of headlines from, of all places, Dubai. It turns out that city's largest investment company asked for a six-month delay in paying back some $60 billion in debt. And so financial correspondent Bianca Goladriga joins us here. We wonder today how this one headline from one part of the world could affect markets worldwide. And one more, David, and that's confidence. Dubai has really come to symbolize what went wrong during this credit bubble. You have this city-state, which, by the way, compared to its neighbors, has very little oil, all of a sudden turning into an investor's mecca, this Las Vegas of the Middle East. We saw these lavish skyscrapers, uh, man-made islands, indoor ski resorts in the middle of a desert. Unfortunately, the money, a lot of the money used to build all of those lavish things was borrowed money. And once the U.S. housing market went down, of course, we saw that uh, escalate over to Dubai as well. And they can't pay it back. They can't pay it back. And, and $60 billion is not such a huge figure compared to the rest of the money that you have in debt outstanding throughout the world. The question is, and the problem is, if it happened in Dubai, could it happen in other sovereign wealth funds right. around the world? Deanna Goladriga with us here tonight. Deanna, thank you.